I'm gonna start off this video being very vulnerable. I'm gonna show you a picture that has only been seen by me, my mom, and maybe some random auntie somewhere. And that's because this picture has been locked away inside a vault. And by vault, I mean that random box in the garage that nobody ever looks through and it just gets a lot of dust and has spiders on the bottom of it, that kind of vault. Hey, you can do it, Tia, you can do it, you can do it. We all have that picture from our childhood that we're all ashamed of, you can do it. Here's the picture. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Pull it together! Okay, so <laughs> here is the quick backstory to that picture. My mom and I decided that we were gonna get real cute one day. We were gonna do our hair. We were gonna put on some cute clothes. Well, my mom looks cute. I, on the other hand, I look like the little girl that always haunts houses in those scary movies, like the little ghost girl. It was very much giving Victorian ghost girl. But anyway, we were gonna get dressed up and we were gonna go down to Olin Mills, which was like the place to get your pictures done back in the day with a little creamy filter and everything. And we were going to take some cute mommy daughter photos. So we got cute or so I thought, and I begged my mom to blow dry my hair straight. Now my mama was very anti-heat. She did not like to straighten my hair, but because this was a special occasion, she was like, okay, I will go ahead and blow dry your hair straight. Or so I thought. So she blow dried my hair, she pinned it up, we went to take pictures and yeah. Now in her defense, it, it was a little bit humid that day. So the hair just went mushroom, but still. And you may be wondering, well, why does your mom's hair look cute and your hair looks like that? Child, she had a relaxer and was up there lecturing me about using heat on my hair. But I'm really proud of my mom because she has not touched the creamy crack in like two decades. So cheers, mama. So why am I telling you this story and embarrassing myself? because even before we went outside, my hair was still a frizz ball. And that's because the process of blow drying your hair causes friction and friction in turn makes your hair look dry, brittle, dull, and frizzy, which is very counterproductive, hello? What friction does is agitate the cuticle and takes away smoothness and shine. And we want all of that. So when you're blow drying your hair, you're actually damaging the hair surface by causing these lifts and cracks in the cuticle, especially when you're doing it with a brush and at very high temperatures it just exacerbates the problem okay that's my sat word for the day so then what is the solution because we have to dry our hair right we can't just wait for it to air dry forever that's where rev air comes in rev air dries hair in its natural direction which means no friction no frizz and no damage to the hair cuticle and surface this basically eliminates friction points during the drying smoothing and stretching process and this all results in hair that is healthier and more manageable rev air uses this friction free technology that allows the drying process to be gentle and controlled and it does all the smoothing and drying in one single step. This makes Revair the best choice for drying your hair. Frizz-free, healthy, shiny hair, sign me up. Now you imagine if I would have had a Revair back then, <laughs> I would have been the cutest little Victorian ghost you've ever seen. I am just here to let you know that drying your hair does not have to be this stressful, strenuous, damaging process that leaves you with underwhelming results. All you need is something revolutionary. That, my friends, is where Revair steps in to save the day. To learn more about the fastest, easiest, healthiest way to dry and smooth your hair in one single step, just visit myrevair.com. Is Olin Mills still around? Because I need a redo.